so good evening friends uh, myself dr jay shah i am an interventional cardiologist working at uh, at cg hospital and krish heart care clinic in ahmedabad so uh, today my job is to give some uh, salient features and facts and factoids regarding the role of arni in patient with heart failure be it uh, reduced ejection fraction or a preserved ejection fraction and how can we go ahead with the new pathway for initial consensus uh, as you see that uh, the amount of mortality or the death rate is maximum with cardiac disease and mainly heart failure and it is even more worse and more grave as compared to even cancer be it leukemia or any organ cancer the heart failure incidence is having high mortality is tremendously high and it is basically not only producing high mortality but it produces reduction in the quality of life as well now if you look at the mean survival once you develop a established heart failure the mean survival is getting reduced day by day and here is the chart which is going to give you the idea about the overall mean survival which is probably in the range of around more than two and a half years after first year of hospitalization for heart failure but as you to go on repeating the hospitalization that numbers or the number of years for survival is getting reduced substantially and that is from 2.6 it can reduce to 1.3 years after fourth hospitalization due to heart failure so this is the scenario of heart failure now when we are talking about the overall prognosis the prognosis is not good because when we are compare, comparing indian data as compared to global you can see that the mean age of the patient is quite early almost two decades earlier than the western population and in hospital mortality is almost 10 times than the in hospital mortality of the western population now that is the reason i think the due importance has been given to indian patients having a heart failure because one one fourth of the patient they die if they do, they they are not going ahead with the proper aggressive medical management or guided directed medical therapy and why is it so because the prevalence of heart failure in india it has suggestive of development of heart failure in pretty young individual and the incidence of diabetes in heart failure in trivandrum heart failure registry was almost 55% so these are the two important factors of hypertension and diabetes which is responsible for producing the amount of heart failure and leading to a uh, deterioration in the quality of life of the patient now when we are talking about different devices or the trials in heart failure you can see that there are trial which has started way back in uh, 80s where the trial of wellheft and uh, consensus were being uh, coined and the main importance was being given after married hf and cv2 trial where the role of beta blocker was being established and then in last two decades you can see that there are plethora of trials which are suggestive of improvement in the quality of life and the overall mortality benefit is being seen with different trials and that is probably the major cornerstone of uh, therapy in a patient with heart failure where you are talking about a uh, 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 a molecule which is not only going to be superior than the established therapy but when you are giving it along with the other <clears throat> mortality benefit drugs it is going to give you further improvement on the already established cardiac condition and that is the reason i think paradigm hf was being uh, uh, you know designed and uh, the main paradigm hf uh, the main area of concern was to prove the superiority as against ac inhibitor and also to prove the superiority as far as the mortality benefit and all cause mortality is concerned and it is proven to be superior in all the subgroups of chronic heart failure be it age of the patient irrespective of the ejection fraction irrespective of the egfr systolic blood pressure and the anti probin we all are showing that the sequential valsartan combination is going to be superior and better as compared to analog 